Last year, the Hacksmith built the world's first retractable lightsaber. Is that not a lightsaber? And after his success, I thought I'd give a shot at it myself. My attempts to replicate the Hacksmith's lightsaber didn't go so well. So instead, today, I'm going to explain the physics behind the lightsaber. The first thing to say about this lightsaber is that it's essentially a high precision blowtorch. And I mean that with no disrespect, it's still amazing, but yeah, it's fire. But normally fire is chaotic, and this is far from chaotic, this is a smooth blade. So how does it work? The answer to this question is laminar flow. So what is laminar flow? Well, there are two flow types, laminar and turbulent. So let's just quickly run through the differences between these. Laminar flow is really simple to explain. If you imagine we have a pipe and we have fluid flowing along the pipe, then laminar flow is when the fluid is flowing in parallel layers or lamina. And that's essentially it. All the fluid is moving in the same direction uniformly. There's no mixing, no vortices, no swirling, none of that. Turbulent flow, on the other hand, is chaotic. There are vortices, there's swirling, everything's mixing around. And the main definition of turbulent flow is that it's unsteady, which means that at a point in space, the conditions, so the velocity, the pressure, vary with time. And that's turbulence. Another question you may have is, how do we characterise laminar and turbulent flow? I mean, what's so inherently different? And the answer to this is, the Reynolds number. The Reynolds number is what allows us to do this. So this is the equation for the Reynolds number. And what are these terms? Well, the rho, or the thing that looks a bit like a p, is the density of your fluid. Then you have v, the velocity, d, the diameter of the pipe. Uh, so, for example, all of the fire is coming out of the jets, little jets in his nozzle, and the diameter of that nozzle is what you would use for this. And on the bottom we have viscosity. And essentially, when you have a low Reynolds number, you have laminar flow. And when you have a high Reynolds number, you have turbulent flow. So this, this value can be used to characterise the flow. To get a better understanding of this, it's probably best that I do some modelling in SolidWorks. This might be some of the most basic CAD you'll see all year. It's a pipe. It's a pipe with a nozzle inside and a plate to induce turbulence. And with this simple model, I'm going to do some flow simulations. The first simulation is a flow along an open pipe. We can clearly see a lot of non-laminar behaviour, although technically this is not a time-dependent simulation, so this is not turbulence as such. For the second simulation, I added the nozzle. Passing the fluid through the small holes reduces the Reynolds number, and this converts turbulent flow to laminar flow. Okay, so I've explained all that, but why do I need to have laminar flow? Because I mean, there's no reason why turbulence doesn't work, right? Wrong. The blade of the Hacksmith lightsaber is produced by combusting propane, or LPG, and oxygen. Pretty, pretty standard stuff. The key to using laminar flow here is that there is no mixing between combustion layers, which means there are very few combustion instabilities. So there's no regions of high pressure, low pressure, and the fire, the flame, is very uniform and it looks like a blade. If instead we use turbulent flow, they would also be mixing with the air, the surrounding environment, which would cause heat and energy dissipation and break up the flow much sooner. So we wouldn't be able to create such a long blade. And in fact, you can see this in a lot of the Hacksmith's videos. Um, near the end of the blade, turbulence is induced. So you don't get a nice clean edge at the top. You get this kind of fiery flame. And to be honest, he tries to hide it with his cuts. No offence, I mean, I would do exactly the same if I created something like this. But he hides it, he cuts the frames such that you can't see this turbulent induced part of the fire. I've explained the science, I've shown you some solid works, but now it's time for you to see what I did to try and build my own lightsaber. So to do this, I'm going to need some kind of laminar flow nozzle. So let's have a look at the kind of nozzle that the Hacksmith used. 
highly specialized gas nozzles like this can be found at a rather high price. This nozzle right here costs over $4,000 and it's used in the glass blowing industry. King hell, four thousand dollars. <laughs> Let's do this with a bit of plastic tubing. Here I'm using a similar setup to when I did my hand pump rocket engine. Except this time, it's a lot hotter. In fact, steel is so hot, it's probably ostentizing. Not as good as this though. I've done my first test, so now it's time to add the laminar flow nozzle. This assembly is held together with blue tack and hope. When I pump hard, the flame doesn't appear to be particularly bright. And this is because, well, it's probably because the nozzle itself is restricting the flow. I don't think I'll be getting any more tests out of this. I've now seen a demonstration of my device with and without the laminar flow nozzle, or laminar flow nozzle, I mean it didn't work very well did it? Um, but let's look at a side by side comparison of the two. I think the most notable things are that I could achieve a longer blade with the laminar nozzle in place, but without the laminar nozzle the flame was a lot more energetic, as we can see from the glowing red hot piece of metal. Both flows are pretty turbulent. Um, that's not necessarily because of the fire itself. I mean, obviously there is an element of that, but I'm doing this outside and the hacksmith, well, he was doing it inside and there's quite a lot of wind in my garden and disturbances, which would create a lot of, you know, vortices and swirling and mixing, which would ruin any kind of blade that I tried to make. So to summarise, the hacksmith's blade is really cool and I just want to say to him, good job. <laughs>